Ahead of unveiling the new iPad Pro 13-inch 2024, Apple has hyping up its Let Loose launch event as a different kind of Apple event and the most important iPad launch since the original iPad. And now that the dust has settled, it seems that the hype was largely justified. The iPad Pro 13-inch along with 11-inch model that was also announced is an incredibly accomplished and versatile device that, as the marketing spell that accompanies it makes clear, features plenty of firsts and best is the first time an Apple M Plus chip has debuted in an iPad rather than a Mac. It's the thinnest ever Apple device and it has the best screen you can get on a tablet. The iPad Pro 13-inch is clearly a product made by a market leader at the top of its game. It's a stunning bit of kit that's packed with cutting-edge tech and is a shoe-in for the best tablet you can buy in 2024 for its specs alone. But this also means, somewhat counterintuitively, that this is not a tablet for everyone. For a start along with the lofty specs, features and performance claims Apple is making for the iPad Pro 13-inch comes an equally sky-high price tag, $1,299 for the base model and $2,199 is for max specs model. That price immediately puts it out of the reach of many people and this is clearly not a tablet that's designed for just browsing the web and watching videos on the couch. The fact that the new iPad Pro is also a showcase for Apple's brand new M4 chip suggests to me that this isn't a tablet that's simply designed to replace your older iPad. Amazon Kindle or Galaxy Tab but a device that's designed to replace your MacBook and when put into that context, the price of the iPad Pro is much more understandable. If you are not looking for the top of the range tablet to replace your laptop and just want something more affordable for casual tasks, the new iPad Air 6 will be much more appealing and it comes with some neat features of its own. However, if you are after an accomplished bit a kit, that can handle some seriously heavy workloads including video editing and music production while also coming in an incredibly thin and light form factor, then the iPad Pro 13-inch could prove to be a very sound investment indeed. The 13-inch iPad Pro 2024 starts at $1,299 with 256GB of storage rising to $1,499 for 512GB and $1,899 for 1TB and $2,299 for 2TB. These prices are for the Wi-Fi models. You can also get cellular models with supports for 5G connections if you need more comprehensive wave connectivity, which adds $200 US dollar to the price of each model. That's quite a leap from the base price of the iPad Pro 12.9-inch 2022, which launched at $1,099 US dollar. The leap in price is, according to Apple, down to the new design, much improved OLED screen and performance improvements offered by the new M4 chip over the M2 chip that came with the previous model. Also, the base model of the new iPad Pro 13-inch comes with 256GB of storage, twice the amount that the base model iPad Pro 12.9-inch came with. For an expensive device aimed at professionals, which doesn't allow users to manually upgrade the included SSD or offer a memory card slot, dropping the 128GB storage option makes a lot of sense. As in 2024, that amount will get filled up fast. However, if some iPad owners feel like they are being forced to spend more for an upgrade they might not necessarily have chosen, that might not go down too well. The price for the new iPad Pro rises. If you add additional storage, the 512GB model is $1499 US dollar and the 1TB model is $1899 US dollar and the 2TB Pro is $2299 US dollar and those prices are for the Wi-Fi models. If you don't need huge amounts of storage, you may be happy to going for the lower capacity models to save some money but in a frustratingly typical fashion for modern Apple, there are some additional minor changes to the specs depending on the storage capacity you choose. For a start, the 256GB and 512GB models come with 8GB of RAM while the 1TB and 2TB models come with 16GB. 
Also, the 256GB and 512GB models have an M4 chip with a 9-core CPU while the M4 in the 1TB and 2TB models has a 10-core CPU. The doubling of memory and the extra core will offer a noticeable performance increase with the higher capacity. So that's worth bearing in mind. The two larger capacity models also come with the option to have nano texture glass added to their screens which helps minimize glare and reflections while feeling nicer to use a stylus on. This of course also ups the price and fully maxed out iPad Pro 13 inch will set you back 2599 US dollar. That's not just MacBook money, that's MacBook Pro money. If, like me, you were surprised to see the M4 chip debuted in the new iPad Pro rather than in a Mac, the new design of this tablet goes some way towards explaining the decision. According to Apple, both the incredibly thin body and the tandem OLED technology that powers the new Ultra Retina Exeter display of the new iPad Pros are only possible thanks to advancement with the M4 chip, primarily around energy efficiency, thermal performance, and a new and improved 10-core GPU and new display engine to handle the more demanding screen. Apple claims that the M4 chip can provide the same level of performance as the M2 chip using half the power. Of course, the M4 chip can also provide much higher performance than the M2, but this level of power efficiency has allowed Apple to make the iPad Pro 13-inch incredibly thin and light with dimensions of 281.6 by 2. 115.5 by 5.1 mm and weight of 579 grams. This is thinner than the 5.9 mm thickness of the iPad Pro 11 2022 and noticeably thinner than the 6.4 mm of the iPad Pro 12.9 2022. In fact, Apple goes as far as to say that the iPad Pro 13 inch is the thinnest device it's ever made. It certainly feels that way, coating dimensions of won't give you a real idea of just how thin the iPad Pro 13-inch 24 is. You need to see it and feel it for yourself. Despite having a larger display than the previous model, the 13-inch iPad Pro is easily portable especially if you are used to carrying around a 13-inch laptop. As for Apple's claims that it's the thinnest device it's ever made, I put it next to an AirTag, the thinnest Apple product I had to hand and the iPad Pro 13 inch 24 is indeed thinner even if only just. This is quite the achievement considering that one of these devices is a premium and powerful tablet computer and the other is essentially a location tracker that's designed to be as universe strip as possible when attached to your belongings. Having such a thin, light and expensive device might be a bit concerning for some and the iPhone 6 Plus will still be in a lot of people's mind even after all those years. The good news is that despite its incredibly slim design, the iPad Pro 13-inch 2024 feels impressively robust and while you won't want to go throwing it around as you might a cheap and cheerful Android tablet that costs a fifth of the price, you won't feel like you are handling a delicate artifact that could shatter at any moment. As you might expect, a range of covers and protective cases are available for the iPad Pro 13-inch from Apple itself and third parties like Logitech. I'd certainly recommend buying one to help protect your expensive purchase, especially as many such as Apple's new Magic Keyboard add additional features to the tablet. The iPad Pro 13-inch 2024 is the best tablet Apple has ever made and the company has clearly thrown everything at it. You get an amazing OLED screen, a powerful M4 chip, and a ridiculously thin and light design and if money is no object, this is an incredible bit of kit. However, for the vast majority of us, money is an object and a very important one and it's hard to justify the huge price tag unless you are going to be using this as a laptop or desktop replacement for serious creative workloads. If you just want a tablet for relaxing on the couch and scrolling the web, this isn't for you. Check out the new iPad Air 2024 instead.